All right, so in today's video, we're going to cut our stock to length and start working on our ball nut mounts. For the Z-axis, I have a piece of 2 by 2 by 4 inch long aluminum stock. Uh, this is probably a lot bigger than what I'm going to need, but I don't know exactly how it's going to mount yet because I haven't taken the Z apart. So all I'm going to do to the Z is just kind of rough it into shape, bore the hole and drill it for the ball nut, and then it, the way we secure it to the mill, we'll figure out that uh, later. For the X and Y, I've got a piece of inch and three quarter by three by five inch long, and that should get both of those pieces. So I took the models that we had in Fusion 360 and I made, I created these drawings from them. This is our X ball nut mount. It's shorter and the top is open and that is so that we can slide the X table on. And I'll show you that when we go to assemble it. Here's our Y axis ball nut mount. It's going to have this little pin or, or stub on there and that's going to go into the factory uh, location again inch and three quarters thick and then here is our Z mount like I said before it's just basically roughed up because I'm not exactly sure how it's going to mount the original mount has a a groove in it like so for a rod to go into and then it's bolted from the gearbox side into this. Uh, when I get it all apart, we'll figure that out. But I figure I can get most of it done here and then whatever little variations I need to make, uh, hopefully I can do those on the X2 if I need to. Or I can put it back together. So, so let's get out to the mill. We'll get these pieces uh, cut, squared up, and then start working on the mount. Alright, just as before, we've taken the stock and I'm just cutting it to uh, rough dimensions here using the uh, porter band. Uh, if you don't have a porter band, this is something that you really want to get. I started out trying to just use a sawzall to cut through all this stuff and a hacksaw. That really just doesn't work. Porter band really does the trick and they're very inexpensive. You can pick one up at Harbor Freight for like $70, $80 on sale. We're taking uh, the stock out to the Precision Matthews and I'm just sizing everything up, machining uh, all four sides. Precision Matthews does a real good job of this. Pretty happy with the meal overall, uh, even for a manual meal. It does a really good job, and it seems to be pretty uh, robust and stout. Just checking the edges there, making sure they're all square, and getting uh, a nice square surface on each of the four sides. Uh, here we're working on the X blank. on the end of the X. Again checking it for square and now I'm just uh, sizing it up and getting it to length. Uh, here's the Z axis. Again just cleaning up these edges. Just checking it, making sure everything's square. Looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm doing my little uh, magic marker trick here. I'm going to lay out all the holes for the ball nuts, uh, bolts pattern, 
as well as the uh, center hole. Getting all these uh, mounting holes located and marked. And these are just uh, two zero zero five ball screws. So the bolt pattern, the bolt pattern for that is uh, available online. And these are going to be uh, M6 holes. Now the Z, I'm just going to just do the hole for the bearing to pass through and the bolt pattern. I'm not going to do any machining on the length or the end because. I haven't disassembled the Z yet and I'm not sure exactly how that's going to uh, mount up yet but we'll get that in the uh, next few videos we'll get all that figured out okay now that we've got our three ball nut mounts laid out we're gonna go out to the mill start boring and drilling these holes uh, getting these ball nut mounts milled out well now I can go a little higher than a half inch because I had a subscriber, George. I guess he got tired of me uh, doing all that boring with a boring bar and he sent me this drill bit set and it goes from 9 16 up to an inch. So I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much. It's going to come in real handy. And uh, we're going to put it to use now. Alright, so I've got the Z mounted out in the vise on the mill and I'm just center drilling all these marks that we just made for our mounting holes. Uh, then move to a, I believe this is a 7 seconds drill bit. I'm um, not exactly sure, but it's for an M6, uh, whatever that is. And I'm um, drilling these about an inch deep. They don't really need to be that much, but I just want about an inch. And then we'll come back and we'll tap that. Now I have moved to the center location for the boring uh, for the main hole. And I lock. make sure you lock your gibs down so none of that moves. Um, just start changing out bits and progressively getting bigger and bigger. Um, until we can move up to a uh, boring bar to finish the... Uh, the hole. Now originally I only had up to a half inch drill bit but George was kind enough to uh, send me a 9 16 through 1 inch drill bit set and believe me that really helps. It came in real good use and it was very easy just to move up through each one of the drill bits and uh, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I think they're in 1 16th increments so I just went through and used every bit and got up to uh, the final hole size which was one inch and once I got to that point I uh, mounted the boring head and proceeded to gradually open that up Uh, George, these drill bits worked really well. As you can see, didn't have too much trouble. Um, they uh, did a real good job. So I finally got to one inch and I had to put the boring bar in. And this is very time consuming. And as you've seen in my previous videos, uh, it works. Does a great job, but it's just very time consuming. Um, you can only increase the diameter about one turn which is about a millimeter and we're going from 25.4 millimeters to around 35.5 somewhere around in there so it's going to take me about uh, 10 different times to get this uh, to the right dimension. Uh, just went slow, took my time, and uh, finally got it to where I wanted to get it.
Uh, we're getting close here now. And uh... all right, this looks like the final pass here just doing a spring pass then I brought it over to the bench and tap these holes again this is an M6 I think it's an M6 by one so that wraps up this video and we're pretty much done with the z-axis uh, George I can't thank you enough for the drill bits they really came in handy and really saved me a lot of time so I really appreciate that guys listen I thanks for all your support and encouragement throughout this build if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment please subscribe to the YouTube channel thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video and most importantly be safe